What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, oh. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. This is something I have to do alone. Sorry, partner. No dice. No way I'm letting you do this alone. I hope you find her, but you're gonna have to do it without us. Clementine! Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Where have you taken her? This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't the kidnapping, Lee. Then what is it? A rescue. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. We ain't flush with time, but... Fuck. We got less than I thought. I'll be ready to kill anything that tries to get in. You got it by yourself? Damn right. You just trying to find another way out of here. Got it. And Lee, I'm glad I didn't let you come alone. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. This isn't gonna help. Looks like Vernon and his people cleared their shit out of here in a hurry. Well, Clementine ain't with them, so fuck them. I'll have these doors open in two seconds.
Lee, wake up. What the fuck happened? Are you all right? Oh, fuck me. When the hell did that happen? God damn it, Lee. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. Whoa! Thanks. God. I found your goddamn secret, you dumb son of a bitch! You were bitten?! Fuck, man! When were you... God! It happened before. We gotta do something about it. I don't wanna be dead before getting to Clementine. I'm with you. I was, uh, gonna try to do a little surgery before you woke up. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a hell of a risk, but... Hey, you never know. Fuck it. Cut it off. You sure? Yeah. This ain't gonna be fun. Tell me about it. You got- <laughs> Keep still! Just try to keep still! <laughs> Hold on, man! You've been out a while, man. My arm's on fire. I can still feel my fingers. Holy hell. Oh, this hurts more than you could believe. You gonna be able to get going? I think we gotta move. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. You are some kind of something. Jeez. Oh, Not exactly a handicap ramp. No. No, it's not. We're gonna have to climb as quiet as we can. Can you handle that? Yeah. Get going. You okay down there? Quiet, remember? It's no big deal. Another arm would just get in the way. Shit.
Remember when Savannah was empty? Oh, way back then. Like six hours ago? A lot's happened in the meantime. You want to talk about what happened back there? You lost a lot of blood. If you find yourself getting winded or worse, you got to let me know. Okay. Probably just need to go a little slower. And I know we can't afford dead weight, so... Don't treat me like I am. I won't. We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. I'm with you. We just need to figure out a way to get across town safely. I think step one is to pick a direction. Back towards the mansion is my vote. I'm all turned around, though. It's between us and River Street, so we can stop if we have to. Retrace our steps, maybe. And they get going towards the hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Okay. We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. Looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. She walked away from whatever accident happened. But that doesn't really mean much. Not going back in there. It's a bell tower. Like the ones Molly used to draw the walkers around the city. No way. It's higher than this roof for starters. No way I'm jumping that. Some poor bastard took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. <laughs> Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Damn it. <laughs> bell tower yeah could buy us some time draw as many as we can this way get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion you think you should be the one to go let me do it no if we have to decide who takes a risk like this it should be the guy who's got the least to lose what's the worst that could happen I get bitten again if anything happens to me, you're the only chance she's got. Be careful. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? 
Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep. Fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No kidding. Try to find another way out. It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked! A few solid rings of this and there'll be thousands down below. Did the trick, pal. Now get back here. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. That's not that far. Just a little hop. Goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. <laughs> <laughs> 